just a quick comparison here between the Zytrade's 10 watt, 20 watt, and 30 watt floodlight. This LED can, these LEDs can do multiple colors. And here I have it set up. There's the 10 watt. And there's the 20 and the 30. And I'm going to do two different segments, two different scenes. This is the first one where the lights are going to be kind of far back from the subject matter, from the swing. Okay. So first we're going to start off with the 10 watt. Okay, now that's the white light. And now I'm just going to start cycling through some of the colors, not every single one. I think there's about 15 colors, maybe 12. I'm just going to do a few here, give you an idea of, of what the 10 watt looks like. All right, now 20 watts. As you can see, it's a little brighter. And the, the white light has a little bit of pink to it, actually. Um, right there at the start, each one starts off with a white light. Now that flickering, that's the camera. It does not do that in, you know, in person. It's the camera doing that. Any, any flickering you see on the video is because of the camera. All right, now let's do 30 watts. And you should be able to tell it's even brighter. So now <clears throat> you can see what the difference is there with that. But now I'm going to do another sequence where I've got the lights down low and they're going to be closer to what it's shining on. So we're shining on this little flower bed here. And then the camera is going to be back further away across the swimming pool. So there's the 10 watts. Now that's me up close because the remote control doesn't uh, go very far, so you have to get up close, kind of, to, to make it work. So cycling through the colors for the 10 watt, and now let's move on to the 20 watt. Get an idea of the brightness of that. And now let's move on to the 30 watt. So you can look at these and if you're not sure which wattage you want to get, try to use this as a guide and maybe you can figure out what you need for your setup. 